Yo, 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 this your boy, the real McCoy, coming at you, man. Talking about NBA for my basketball, all my round ball fans out there, man. Um, cr crazy day in the NBA, man. Uh, I just did a video talking about the Cavaliers firing David Black, the head coach. Um, interesting, man. <laughs> like the last, the two teams I met in the finals last year, 2015 finals, you know, there's some, uh, you know, some breaking news coming out. You know, the Cavaliers who won the East, they fired David Black. You know, uh, a team that's one of the four teams in the NBA right now. who currently have 30 wins. And, you know, the, the number one uh, team in the East, Eastern Conference right now. And in, in the Golden State Warriors, who won the West last year, their head coach, Steve Kerr, is returning tonight, you know, from uh, from back surgery to, uh, to back on the bench to be the head coach against the Indiana Pacers. So, but some other news that happened that, you know, a lot of you guys probably – I mean, everybody's talking about David Black getting fired, as they should, and Steve Kerr returning. Is um, I, I believe that uh, the Clippers they trade Josh Smith back to the Rockets. <laughs> you know, uh, Josh Smith was huge for the uh for the Rockets last year in the playoffs, especially Game Six in L.A. when they were down three games to two, and they were down. I want to say was it 15 points in the fourth quarter. And James Harden was um, on the sideline. He just wasn't playing well. Josh Smith is the one who spearheaded that comeback against the Clippers to win game six and then to ultimately win game seven back in Houston when the Clippers were up three games to one in that series, you know. Um, so, my bad about the glare, man. It's, it's that Florida sun, man. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, they traded him back to the, to the Rockets. Then Dwight Howard is going to miss a few games with injury. Terrence Jones and um, uh, Demo, uh, Malachunas, they've been, well, Malachunas dealing with injuries. Uh, Terrence Jones, he's just been inconsistent and an undersized power forward, you know. So uh, he's probably going to come over there and start familiar with the team. You know, they did fire Kevin McHale. He's still um, pretty familiar with my biggest staff, the head coach, and things like that. Um, so it, it's, it's interesting. One of the trades, I was like, uh, whoa, you know what I mean? Everybody's talking about David Blatt. I was like, man. It's a lot going on in the NBA right now, you know what I mean? Uh, but one of the moves I, that, that that trades that happened, because like the first month of the season, the, uh, the LA Clippers, they just weren't playing well at all with all that talent. And there were a few times where Josh Smith bumped heads with head coach Doc Rivers. Bumped heads a few. There was one play where they um they where I saw where he was Josh Smith was coming down the court. He ran in front of, you know, the coach standing on the sideline. And Josh Smith ran in front of Doc Rivers. And they were arguing and cursing at each other. And then Josh Smith hit a three. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. They bumped heads plenty of times, you know. So them trading Josh Smith doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, Josh Smith said that he, he shouldn't have never, he should have never left Houston in the first place. You know, he, he was huge um, for the playoff run last year. Huge. Especially in the Clippers series. In the Western Conference Finals against the Warriors, they would they would just they were just overmatched. They just played superior team, you know. Um, but what you guys think? Can, can he help the Rockets? I mean, at the end of the day, the Rockets need to play defense. That's just what it is, you know. Josh Smith can kind of help that. He can, um, yeah, he still has some. Even though he's in his thirties now, he has some athleticism to be able to guard some threes. Has the upper body strength to guard fours. Maybe even some scratch, some fives if they scratch fives, things like that. So you know he, he brings versatility. He can put the ball on the floor and create his own shot. He can, yeah, he, he shows flash to create for others. He can hit a three here and there. Uh, doesn't always take the best shots. Doesn't have the highest height basketball IQ, but he does bring some athleticism. And Rockets love shooting. You know, man, said he was huge for them last year, especially in the second round against the Clippers. If it wasn't for him in Game Six. To facilitate and do the things that he did, the Clippers would have lost to the Army. The Rockets would have lost to the Clippers in the second round in LA. They were down by 15, I think like 15 in the fourth quarter. And they spear, he spearheaded that comeback. So, one of the, uh, say, this would have been breaking news, big news, if it wasn't for David Black getting fired and Steve Kerr returning to the Warriors tonight. You know, Josh Smith getting traded back to the Rockets. You know, so that was, I thought that was interesting. You know, um, so. Let me know what you guys think about that. Is that going to make any difference for the Houston Rockets? They still got to play defense. They don't play no defense out there in Houston. 
they still gotta play defense. Let me know what you guys think, man. A crazy day in the NBA, man. <laughs> like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm around ball fans. Let me know what you guys think, man. This your boy, the real McCoy, man. I'm out. Peace.